The serious situation uh, went on now for almost five years. And the number one challenge uh, to the region and the world is a political instability and the spillover. Uh, that's number one. Number two is the human cost that the Syrian people and the Syrian nation now, for generations, uh, they will be suffering from and impacted by. Uh, loss of livelihood, uh, displacement, uh, loss of education opportunity, and loss of an opportunity to invest in the future of their children and grandchildren. Uh, some of the challenges now for the international community to really uh, come together and have the courage and the will to find a political lasting solution to this crisis. So far they did. Uh, when you have uh, 7 million people displaced internally, another 4 to 5 externally, that's 12 million. And then you have another 10 million who did not leave their home, but they're impacted because they lost livelihood, access to services like health, education, uh, social security, and uh, a normal life. Children are robbed of their childhood, and professionals are really broken uh, because they cannot uh, make end meet nor provide to their communities or to their uh, direct uh, family members. The priority should be now really for the international community and the superpower that may be to come together, uh, forget our differences for a moment and try to stop the fighting and then find a political solution, a lasting political solution to the problem and start working already, uh, debating and putting a map, uh, a road map, uh, very clearly for the rehabilitation of the country and in the region. If there is no political situation is found, uh, the number of displacement will uh, be higher, the conflict will rage, and it will inflict, aside from Iraq and Lebanon, other countries, and we will have an international global uh, security issue. And uh, the humanitarian cost will be high, and containing the humanitarian disaster will be difficult, and it will cost uh, the countries in the region and the donors uh, an incredible price that will mark uh, a history, will be marked in history, and it will uh, basically characterize these generations of leaders uh, as incapable of finding a political solution and steering the world to safety.